Hi everyone and welcome back to Crystal Dream channel. Today's tutorial is about making this beautiful cross uh, that is the ideal for this Easter week that it will come uh, very soon. So let's take a look at the material we need. First of course we will need some diamond duo, then 8-0 seed beads from Miyuki, then 11-0 seed beads from Miyuki, and 15-0 seed beads from Miyuki as well. And lastly, um, thread, two needles and scissors. Let's get started. The first step is to take one diamond duo and then pass the needle inside the second hole at the bottom, then insert it. Four seed beads, 11, zero and return passing the thread through the second hole of the same salmon duo, uh, diamond duo sorry so we have something like this then we have to return back passing the thread through these two seed beads and once we are in the center we will insert our 15 zero seed beads Then return up, passing through the next two, 11, 0. And pass the needle inside again through this, the hole of the diamond duo. As you can see, I shaped uh, the bottom of the cross. So now insert four seed beads in one side, then other four in the other side and return up through the until the center of the four and insert a 15-0 seed bead again and he will shape out as an, an angle that it will fit perfectly for the diamond door and we repeat the same in the left side so return up passing the needle through the first two 11-0 seed beads then insert a 15-0 seed bead and here you are, this is like an ornament that we will make for all the cross we are in the bottom now. I put a pattern here in the right that, that you can understand better um, why I'm working and uh, what I'm explaining, what I'm going to do. Okay, the next step is to insert two CB11, um, no, sorry, 80, then pass the both tips inside the hole at the bottom of a new diamond duo. And then we will follow making ornaments around it, inserting four, 11, zero in one side and other four in the other side. And then as we did previously, we will insert a 15, zero right in the middle of these fours. So we turn up, passing the needle through the first two we, we, we insert a 15-0 we pass in the second hole of, this, of the diamond duo and here you are, I shape the angle and this, it will really make the same in the other side, on the left side so we go up to see it we insert a 15-0 Then we go up again and we pass through the hole of the diamond duo. Here we are, this is the second diamond duo. We are at the bottom now. We go up again 
so we have to insert as we did previously one A0 for each tip then a new diamond duo then we cross the tips inside the hole at the bottom be careful because the diamond duo beads have two faces two sides two sides the flat one has to stay always at the bottom here the third and we will do basically the same thing so I will move up I and mean, I will move on to the fourth so we are in the center of the cross so we will insert now only two eleven zero then we pass through the two holes that we have at the bottom of a new diamond duo in order to build the center then other two eleven zero and another diamond duo with the left th thread we return we move to the right passing through the holes to, through the hole at the bottom then the hole at the up the next diamond duo then the other hole at the bottom and with the thread on the red right, on the right we will move to the left passing through the hole at the top and then through the hole at the bottom of the next diamond duo here we are basically building the center then we move down through the next seed bead 11 0 and we will insert a 15 0 seed bead then we do the same the other side and then we move on on the right so i inserted a 15 0 between the two 11 0 i had in previously then we move to the right and we are ready now to build the right part of the cross the center is almost done then so we insert a eight z uh, sorry uh, yes a uh, eight zero seed bead then a diamond duo then another eight zero i hope the pattern i put uh, here on the right will help you to understand better how we are working but um Remember that we have three seed bead sides 8 0, 11 0, and 15 0. Here I inserted the two diamond duo of the right part of the cross. Once we inserted the second, we will follow inserting four seed beads 11 0. Then we go back with a new inserting uh, 8 0 seed beads between all the diamond duo okay here the two a0 seeds then we insert the central diamond duo here okay in the center and then we return to the right and we have to embellish the cross adding all the seed beads that are missing so we pass through the a0 the first a0 through the diamond duo the bottom so we insert four uh, 15 zero here we repass into the same hole and then we insert a new 15 0 right in the center in this way we pass through the first two 15 0 once the thread goes out from there we insert a new 15 0 here in the center in order to shape our angle
and here you are, I shared the angle, so I move right, passing again through the hole of the same diamond duo, then through the seed bead, A0, and we will make the same in the next diamond duo, exactly. So, four 15-0 seed beads, and then we will insert a new 15-0 seed right in the center. I don't show you the step because it's exactly the same as we did, or as we just did. So we move up now through the next two C11-0 and we insert a new 15-0. And so I shaped an angle here as well. We return back with the same technique. We are embellishing all the cross with seats. So here I moved, I did the same, then we go on the right. And the right part, no sorry, on the left. The left part of the cross is exactly a mirror of the right side. So one a zero between the two diamond duo I'm going to insert. I hope my explanation is clear. If it's not, I'm very sorry. English is not my language. I'm I'm trying to do my best. Anyway, you can put in the comment below what do you think? Uh, how can you, how we can improve the tutorials? Here the second four 11-0 seeds a new 8-0 and we return back with a new 8-0 we pass in the center of the cross with the thread and then we will return on the left side of the thread building all the ornaments with the seed beads exactly as we did in the right part, we will do in the left part. Remember that if you are interested on the material, you can find it in, my, in our website www.crystaldream.s Anyway, any question, don't hesitate to contact us. Okay, we move on the left now. I pass the needle through the eight, and we insert four fifteen zero, and then in the center we will put again a new fifteen zero to shape the angle. Exactly, in the in the in this way. Okay, and move forward quickly because I can't repeat all the time the same steps. It's now time to make the upper part, the up of the cross. So we move at the top. Here. Mm -hmm. We insert a uh, two, uh, two new C beads, eleven zero. Here, we pass through the second hole of the diamond duo, and uh, we will do the same in the left side. So we insert two new seed beads, 11-0, then the needle through the second hole of the diamond duo, and we move up. But before, we have all, as always, we have to insert a 15-0 between the two 11-0 seeds I inserted. Here. 
here, then I pass through the second hole at the top of this Super Diamond Duo, then the hole at the bottom, and the hole at the top of the next one. Here. And now I insert a new 15 0 here as well. Okay, once I have the two tips at the top, I insert a new 8 0 here on the right and here on the left. And then I will cross both tips inside the second hole at the bottom, this, the hole at the bottom of the diamond duo. This is the last diamond duo I will, I'm going to use, I will use for this tutorial. Because the body of the cross is completely shaped, is finished, so we have only, we have only to embellish with the seat beads all around it. So as we did previously, we insert four 11-0 seed beads. Here on the left, and then we will do the same on the right. Here you are, and now, as always, as you know, a new 15 0 right in the center. So we pass the needle through the first two here, then we put a 15 0 to shape the angle. Here on the left, and we'll do the same on the right. So we go up now, passing the needle through the beads. And once I'm at the top, I pass through the second hole of the diamond duo. And I do the same with the other side, with the other needle. Remember that you you need two needles for this tutorial. Okay. It's almost done, the work. So in this case, I made another one with a squared loop here to hook, a, a neck, to, to hook it as a necklace. But this time I want to change, I want to build a very beautiful loop made with seeds. So I will, I'm going to insert two seed beads for each side. Then for, with the next, with the right one, I will repass into the two on the left and into the second hole of the diamond duo. Then I move up passing through the two seat beads 15-0 on the right at the top. Then we, I do the same with the left thread as well in order to cross both threads in the same seat beads, seat beads. And now it's time to start building the loop. So I insert two new seat beads. I pass through the seat beads on the left at the top. Then I return back. 
passing through the if the 15 zero seed beads at the top on the right and through the other one at the top then I insert two new seed beads and I will do the same I pass I pass the needle through the second one on the, at the top on the left then I return on the right and I move up Basically, I am sewing two seed beads and I'm building rows. Here, another two. Here, here, others two. I hook them to the previous one. Here, another couple. Here another cup, couple here and I serve it, I hook it to the first to the previous one. Here I built 15, 16 rows, so I have to close the loop. So once I with the with the thread, I repass into the first at the base. I'm going to use the plier because it's very difficult to return passing the needle more than one time inside the 15 zero seeds. But it's fine with Nemo thread. It's fine. And here, once I tense the, the thread, the loop automatically get closed. So we have to sew all the beads I had at the top at the base. Then I, mo I move up four C beads and I repass the needle in it into them. Then I go down and again I think the video will explain you better because it's not, it's not so easy to explain with words. So they pay attention to the video that is very important. And here I sew the loop, I repass into the latest beads in order to enforce all the work and before to make the knots. As you can see, I'm simply repassing the thread through the latest bits. Once you finish, you can make a couple of knots. Then you cut away the thread who left and done. Here, my beautiful cross. Uh, you can use it as a as a pendant for a necklace. You know that history week is will come very soon. So I hope you like this tutorial. Remember that you can subscribe to our channel in order to stay updated with all our news. And see you next time. Happy bidding. Bye bye.